started our best beer panels. What they're doing up here is they're going to tell me I guess we can best, start. second best, and third best beer in New York State. Why do I guess we can go. I guess we can go. New York so we're, so we're in New York State. Because we're in New York State. 15 years ago, Matt Collins and I were right behind me, and three of our very good friends organized the Hudson Valley Beer and Food Festival, and we only tasted the beers from the Hudson Valley. And then, uh, after doing that for three years, our friends here at Hunter Mountain came down and said, uh, let's take this show on the road and let's do statewide event. So for the last 12 years, we've been doing uh, the best in New York State and the best in the Hudson Valley. We're not going to forget our roots. We're still going to do the Hudson Valley. Let me introduce these judges to you before they get up and leave. Over here in the New York State panel on the far side from Newburgh is Tom McCullough. Yeah, Tom. Next to Tom is uh, Leah Pepper. She's also from Newburgh. From Troy, New York is Jason Johnson. Yeah. And one of the reasons we're doing Caribbean theme, no, not really. Preston Berry, who's a tavern owner and barkeep down in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Yeah. Come visit. In a few minutes, as soon as I get the word, we're yeah, going to announce the winner. Of I got three more to go. John Payton Award. My favorite so far is the 1281. That's my next. But, uh, but the thing is, I'm a big fan of stouts, and it's definitely some sort of chocolate stout or porter. It's good to save this one for the end. Yeah, I went early. Palette. That's why I had to take a lot of sips and eat a lot of bread on that one. How far have you gotten so far? Two? Oh, just three left? There were two that I really had no no thought of whatsoever. Yeah. Which were these two? Yeah, I, I kind of just broke notes like what I thought it tasted like just to have like some sort of note down. Should note down? You're wrong, but this 1020 might have some rye in it. It's got a little dryness to it. This is definitely without a doubt some sort of Weizenbacher wheat. It's some sort of wheat. I think there might be a little bit of rye mixed in with it. It could be. It could be like a rye wheat. Could be. Like a Rogan of some sort. Maybe. I like that lemon. Try the 1120 and the 1020. They're both some sort of wheat beer. Yeah. yeah. But one is better than the other. So I would say if you're going to go with one of them, see which one you like better. Yeah, the 1020 I like. Yeah, I like, I like that. If, if I would have picked one of the two, out of the 1020 and the 1120, I would go with the 1020. Yeah, yeah. A little bit more spicier. I'm a big fan of the last one, but I like stouts, so. 1490, I think we can all agree can sit down and not worry. Which one? 1490. The, the light water S, whatever. Where is. Oh, yeah, yeah. This one? Yeah, no, I was not. This one, I was out. I would say this. Making whatever this is is difficult to do well because it is so light. Actually, all four of these I was not impressed yeah. with. No. Which one? The top four, except for the left one. I'm just getting there. No, because you like. You like the left. You like that one? I'll go for it again. You like that one over 1100? Because 1100 should be right up your alley if you like IPAs. Too much? Too much for you. It's a big one. Okay. I mean, everybody is different. I love that. Chocolate. It's got to have chocolate. I bet you this one is horsehead chocolate porter. I like that one for its type. I'm not. You're not a big chocolate. I like this one the best my, myself, but it's definitely some sort of chocolate stout or chocolate porter. And if I was to guess, I would say it's the horsehead. I do, I do really like 1100 though, for what it is. Yeah. But the thing I like about it, I love how it still has, you know, a nice little lacing for how light it is in body. I like it a lot myself. In my opinion, I really like it, but I don't know if the other two are gonna, because it's got, it's, it's very hot present forward. If we're going, if, you know, so far the ones we've selected have had no hoppiness really. If we are this is the biggest hoppy one, yeah. I got, big, but I, I got four. Yeah, which one? I got 
Number one is 1281, but I'm also a big Porter fan. Okay. Number two I have is 1020, which is that Weizenbach up in the front. Number three, 1100, which is an IPA. And a, number four, as a, a substitute, I have 1160, which is some sort of barley wine. Those are the four I had, but i like to know where you guys are, if you think at all. You know what, the 1020 and the 1280 ones, like, they would put in the top. What? Just say, my top one is 1120. Yeah. My second is 1020. Okay. My third is 1281. What about you? Where are you at? Right now, so at least we know these two, all three of us agree, right? Yeah, yeah, so we got to get your thought. So we got two, but then the third one we're kind of all over. I like 1101. Let me go back to it. Let me try it. 1101, you said? just has that. Well, I'll tell you what, if we go with 1281 and 1020, I'll give you guys 1101. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This, this, these two beers are a style that I'm not a big fan of. I actually like them, so I bet that this is a lot of fun. Yep. And you, you, what about you? Where are you at? Yeah, basically, if you guys taking shit off, or you found, like, yeah. I'm going back for a second opinion. Yep. We're on you because right now where we got is okay. We're gonna. These are the ones that ever. This eleven forty. We think this could be like a very weak. Eleven forty. No one has liked so far. It's like, it's like almost like crossing a dunkle on a weak tail. You know what? Here's what's funny. I I can't even figure that one out. Yeah. I have no idea what that is. So. Or, it, but like I said, it's, it's not bad. I, I would actually drink it. I mean, if I didn't want a really heavy, strong beer, like so. anyway. Yeah. So here's here's where he's at. So far, the three of us like these two, and then the third one is really a cross between these four. So we're we're you you like this one, right? The 1101. I like the 1160 and the 1100, and then you like this 1120, right? Yeah. So. I love that one. Yeah, that's what I love about it. I kind of like it too. It's like my You know what I would do for the style of beer? It's a porter too. It's definitely a chocolate porter. If I was my top this one and this one. But for the style, if I was in a bar, I'd order this one. Yeah. But for the style of beer, the fact that I actually like these two, it says a lot. So I think these two are up there. Because three of us, and he's close. I can't, I can't even. We gotta push this aside. It's too, it's too much. Uh, you, got, you got three people who love it. You got three people who love it. It's not about. Is it real chocolate even? Yeah, I would say it is. We're on you to pick at least something. Okay. I'll give you guys. What are his? What we're asking. We're waiting on him. I can take 1120 off the board. I do like it. Like what did he say? He's gonna take 1120 off the board. Like it. He doesn't like it. We're waiting on him. We're waiting on him. Well, we're. He's down to four. I don't know about the rest. Of we got two that the three of us like, and we're waiting on him. Did you like 1100 at all? Over. Well, what would you take over the two? Because right now those are my third and fourth. So we're gonna have to like we're gonna have to convince them. Okay. Right. So pick one of the two that you like better. Okay. I don't really like this one. But you're going with us. Okay, here's where he's saying. He'll give us this one if we give him this one. <laughs> and he wants this one. Okay, well, can we at least say we all like this one? I do like this one. So are we going to go with this as number one, 1020? Okay, yeah. All right, do we agree? Number one, 1020? This is what we all like. Well, we all agree, right? We all agree that All right, so 1020 is number one. Okay. Now we agree, we all like this one, and he is willing to give it to us, but he doesn't like it. As so, a three, as, a three. as a three, what are your guys' thoughts?
What's that? What do you think? 1100? You like? I mean, I like it. That was incredible. I like it. It's, well, I mean, well, he said a three. Like about, I was yeah. telling him earlier, it's very difficult to achieve a very good beer that's light. As I drink it, I'm you know, Okay, okay, hold on. If we get this right, 1020, we all agree is number one. I agree. Yeah. I agree. If we all agree, it's 12. Full, rounded. I don't need to put any pressure we're, on we're, we're, we're real close. We're real close. We're, we're all agreeing 12, 1281 is three. 1281 is three. So now we just got to agree on a number two. Where are we at? 1100. I can deal with that. I like 1100 a lot, so. You know what? As I drank it more, it is. It's got a little more. It's big. It's fine. You know, yeah. when you're in a beer fest, we get used to big, crazy flavors. All right. So do we all agree? 1020 is number one. 1100 is number two. And 1281 is number three. Are we all in agreement? Yep. Is everybody okay with that? Totally. I will give credit. Are we are you okay with that? Do you feel that you've got? You, do you feel okay with that? I'm okay with it. Yeah. Are you okay with that? Okay, I can live with it. This is going to be Horsehead Chocolate Porter. This will be some sort of Weizenbach, and this is going to be some sort of IPA. That's what my bet is. This is definitely an IPA. I don't know which one, but it's one of them. What's the name of your bar? La Taverna. Oh, okay. All right, guys. Very nice to meet you guys. <laughs> for New York State, the third best beer in New York State for this year, along with being the John Kalen Award, is at Horsehead's Chocolate Porter. Come Told on you. back up. I don't know. Hey, dude. Congratulations to Horsehead once again. Really? Oh yeah. The second best beer, New York State. I'm interested to see who this is. Scott Vaccaro, Captain Lawrence. Captain Lawrence Imperial. No, you're not. This is for the Imperial IPA. You know what's crazy too is that like I didn't even know what this was. I didn't like I did. No, I mean I think I was like I didn't know what this was. The best the beer in New York and State for 2012. It's imperial and you can't smell it all. And it's from Ithaca, and it's New York. That's balance, baby. Bandwagon. Wow. Bandwagon. The Weizenbach. Uh, yeah, that's the one I said. Yeah. Good for them because I thought they made a good beer this year. Good.